Welcome to the Game Ramble first look video for Temple of Snake. My name is Dark Cloud and I'm joined by Nimby or Mrs. Cloud. So Temple of Snake is a tile-based puzzle dungeon adventure developed by Ethereum Games and published by Pixel Jam. The game is launching on Steam Early Access on the 18th of August, but we were lucky enough to get a early copy of the game. So oh. let's check it out. Got a story mode, classic mode is locked, snack workshop is locked, and mecha snack is still locked. <laughs> so you're actually able to design your own snack skin pattern, and it also has a level editor. Oh, cool. And then classic mode is your classic high score, eat and grow score attack mode. So in extras, oh, this looks like the achievements. Uh -huh. Okay. Options, that's where we should go. So accessibility, we can set the speed, there's a metronome, one step at a time, always rest the checkpoints, camera shake, camera sway, camera sway, and then the color vision filter. You can also select some language options, set contents such as blood, skull and bones, and poop <laughs> as on and off. Poop has to be unlocked, that has to be a first in the game, unlockable poop. Interesting. Okay, for controls, WSAD to move, up, down, left, and right. You can also pause and go fast with the F button. And there's also a rumble when gamepad is active. And for graphics, set the resolution, full screen, bordered window, borderless window, VSync, and FPS limit. Rendering, but rendering quality, which is currently on pretty. Looks like it can go all the way up to super. <laughs> okay, and then render scale can up to 150%. I like that it tells you what it does if you hover over it. Um, that's cool. Outline effects, custom snack patterns, high quality snack geometry, and high quality snack animation. Well, this is a beautiful snack. <laughs> apply that. Sound, you can adjust the overall volume, game volume, and music and UI. Okay, so shall we get started with the mm -hmm. story mode? Snick looks very really eager to start. Yep, new game. So the game sees you exploring and mastering puzzle mechanics and using special abilities and uncovering secrets in an interwoven dungeon that's like a Metro Metroidvania style. It's got five environments with distinct art, music, and puzzle styles. And it uses rhythm and length based puzzle mechanics. Cool. And it stars the rock, which is Vin Diesel. <laughs> this is just the random barbarian. He always hit her in the face with that thing. She had to dodge. It's more of them. Yeah, clones. <laughs> Golden snake patterns. That's a fancy headdress. I think uh, he might be in charge. Mm -hmm. Okay, it didn't end well for some people. This looks like the snake bit. Mm. There we have the vicious green snake. Sleeping sounding. Oh. With eggs. I guess I can move with WASD. So my snack looks mm. like it moves in the direction I've selected and then it keeps going. Okay. Anyone who has ever owned a Nokia <laughs> phone will probably be very familiar with the snake gameplay. Oh, is it based on that? Well, the Nokia phones had a version of snake. Although I think it predates phones. The goal was to grow your snake longer and longer without mm. hitting its own body. Yeah, I remember that. So this looks like it's a variation on that theme, just uh, greatly expanded. Mm. I'm just following the arrows here. I don't know what will happen if I deviate from them. Mm. Let's find out if I can actually... Smash into things, yes, you can. Mm. Okay. You have to restart the. I'm a rebel, I'm skipping that part. 
<laughs> Should probably have tasted that earlier, but mm. now we know. Yeah. Yeah, so. snakes are notorious for not seeing well and crashing into things. Mm -hmm. Or are they? Don't believe everything you see in games. Mm. Not a snake expert, I'm afraid. What are those two up to? Supposed to go on the other. Uh, <laughs> it's all being a rebel. Yep. <laughs> Edward, <laughs> testing the limits here. Thinking out of the lines. So, looks like my snake has to be quite long to hit both those buttons at the same time. Mm. How does it grow? I think it just has to hit all three. And um, sequence. Yeah. Or. It might eat. No? It's very tasty looking. The rock is folks here. gone. My snake is no longer. That one viciously abandoned this. Well, oh, okay. Close the thing again. And now I will follow instructions. I can imagine this is going to get quite tricky if the snake is very long and there's a lot of obstacles and traps yeah. and stuff. What do you think of the concept? It's cool. I mean, I remember being quite addicted to that game back in the day. Oh, my snake's not long enough. To get that other one. Oh, oh that, that's not good. <laughs> snake, turn back. Oh. <laughs> I was bamboozled. Mm. Okay, at least it doesn't restart you right from the start again. No. So I know, avoid that switch. That other villager or uh, whatever he other... is, he fled earlier when the snake approached. See that? Yeah. So, so maybe I should wait for him to return. Aha. Uh -huh. Watch it now. Snake. I can bypass the switches as well. Do you hear the music is procedurally generated okay. based on the snake's movements, I think. I thought it was the other way around, that the snake is moving the rhythm of the music. Well, I'm moving the snake, so that would be a bit hard to accomplish. So if you hit all three at the same time, you think that other trapdoor... Ah, oh, okay. No, you need to get two. those two to open this door. You see those lines show you to which door they're connected. Okay. Quick thinking there. A very dangerous temple. Mm-hmm. Every year, okay. So hopefully that is going to lower the... Yeah, you have to go in faith at times. <laughs> you don't get a lot of time to react. Gotcha. Got it. So you go into a room... Oh, that was close. Good, yeah. Like I said, you go into a room almost blind and you quickly have to... Yeah. I suppose you can enable that uh, rest at every turn or whatever that option was oh, okay. to make it more of a strategic. So you have to rest, yeah. Yeah, and it is straight here. It probably comes slithering in the other yeah, way. Cool. So, yeah. and then hit the switch to open this door. No. Nope. <laughs> Apparently <laughs> not. So what? I don't know, you might have to... Because that door is closed, I think... Do you think you need to hit both switches to get it? Let's see. No. Yeah. So what's the trick to opening that door? Maybe... Oh, it looks like I have to slither out the other... There are things on the other side of the water. Yeah, but I can't get up there. So I need to lower these things. Follow that arrow at, looks like. 
Oh, oh my tail. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Yeah, luckily I'm back here. To take a longer route to that. Mm -hmm. Think so. There we go. Well at least the game is fair by restarting you in the same room. Mm. I wonder yeah. if my snake needs to be long enough to cross if it will drown if it's not. Okay. I don't know. Seems to swim without a Oh, I don't need to. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I got distracted by those arrows on the floor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We've got three switches here tied to those. Ah, but that's not going to work. You see that? I need to lower. Let me demonstrate. So I did it this one, this one, and then that one. Yeah. And then I have to crawl up these steps. Okay to cross that gap to get to the door, otherwise the snake is going to hit its head. Uh, see that? No. There we go. I see, and it can't crawl through spikes. No. So you have to open the door and lower the spikes. Okay, cool. This is going to... Uh, this is another evil part. <laughs> This makes snakes so hard in the making of this video. <laughs> this snake looks very woolly. I don't know, it looks like it's been crocheted or something. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay, I think this will be the last chamber. room chamber. For the me. Edible rock. Mm, he's just there to cause. Oh, no, that was a bad idea. <laughs> don't come out now, don't come out now. No, no, no. So how am I gonna... Ah, ah dead snake. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's Temple of Snake. It's going to be out on Steam Early Access on the 18th of August and then the full release is planned for 2022. And yeah, from our first look here, my first impressions are quite good. I like the game. Mm. It's definitely a very unique take on a classic game and it looks like it's going to involve quite a bit of head scratching to conquer all of these puzzles and rooms. Mm, yeah, I think it's just really cool for someone who enjoys puzzles, puzzle games. Yeah, and it's fair. I mean, you start in the same chambers. It's not like you lose a ton of progress mm. and all the options that you can set to, you know, move block by block or balls or all that stuff is also going to make it more strategic because right now you have to think on your feet but if you prefer a more slow paced cerebral challenge you can enable some of those features and take it a bit slower which i think is cool yeah very cool so yeah we will definitely be keeping an eye on this game during early access and then as soon as it's getting a full release we will do a full re review on the website as well so until then thanks for joining us until next time Thank you. Remember to like and subscribe and share if you like our stuff. Bye. Bye.